I got you, Juicy Entertainment News for Monday.、Uh, LeBron James, Drake, and Naomi Osaka have all invested in a sports technology and gaming firm called Status Pro. Now, Status Pro、uh, focuses on combining augmented reality and virtual reality with player data to create training and fan engagement products. And they expect this industry to be worth about $57 billion by 2027. Now, the company is headquartered in Miami and is currently working. Alongside multiple NFL teams, including the Baltimore Ravens, the NFL Players Association, and NCAA collegiate teams.、Um, some other investors include Verizon, and Status Pro aims to use athlete experiences and mix them with technological expertise of XR veterans to change how players and coaches and fans experience sports. They say it's not only going to influence gaming and entertainment, but also the way athletes can train and analyze. Their performance. Sounds pretty cool.、Um, Afion Crockett, comedian, his stand up was,、uh, his stand up set was rather over the weekend, interrupted by an offended Karen.、Uh, a woman attending his stand up show in Jacksonville, Florida over the weekend stormed the stage, claiming to be offended by his jokes. She was quickly labeled Karen.、Um, he shared a clip of the incident on Instagram afterwards, saying, My first Karen stormed the stage like the Capitol. I can't make this up. When I perform, I said what I said. If you don't like it, don't come. Cancel these nuts. Obviously, referring to Karen. The Karens need to be canceled. I agree on that one.、Um, in the video, the woman could be heard saying, You insulted a lot of people tonight. So he responds, So me up here describing my own life is insulting you.、Um, and then the crowd chanted, Karen, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> She left the stage. Now, you know, he's talked about cancel culture in the past.、Um And just saying that we put way too much into it. Afian said that, in my opinion, we put way too much power into cancel culture. We're in a society where everybody's attention ban is so short. You say something today, you get canceled, and then two weeks later, you're dropping a new single and you're balling. And he's right about that.、Um, this is kind of an interesting story. A music video director who has been living in Sean Kingston's home has been,、uh, is accusing Sean Kingston of punching and pulling a gun on him. Now, the director. The director who、um, went on Instagram、um, also told TMZ that Sean Kingston let him live and work at his Los, Angela, at Los Angeles home for three months. And on November 5th, around 2 a.m., he says that Sean Kingston asked him to come downstairs to film something, but his phone was dead. He said Kingston got really upset, allegedly punched him in the face before pulling a gun on him and then dragging him down the hallway inside the house.、Uh, the guy says that Kingston then asked him to collect his things and leave the home. Now, according to his Instagram page, he's filmed and edited multiple deliverance vlogs from Sean Kingston dating back to September 3rd. He also followed Sean Kingston. As he performed at gigs, surprised fans at private parties, and also cooked food. And the most recent one was just uploaded three weeks ago, sometime before the alleged attack. Now, while the man suffered no serious injuries, he said that Kingston's alleged actions left him with cuts on his face and has since filed a police report.、Um, we haven't heard from Kingston's team yet, and、uh, he's definitely not addressed the allegations on his social media pages, but we'll definitely continue to follow that story. And that's your juicy entertainment. News for Monday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all new、uh, Kiss 96. Uh, uh, uh.